I'm so happy to be sharing this full moon with you. Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Beginning today on this full moon in Cancer with the lunar eclipse. We are actually just, I think, traveling into the next zodiac sign because void, of course, happened around 5.29 p.m. tonight, um, Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. I think it was around that time. So we're moving, shifting slowly. Um, but it's still got that beautiful, powerful uh, full moon energy. It will up through tomorrow night. So be sure you be sure you take advantage of this beautiful energy. It's a forgiving energy. It's a loving energy. If you have felt content for a reason you don't understand why, if you have felt like being more at home, you know, closer to things that make you feel comfortable and safe, if you have felt a little absent-minded when it comes to details. I can tell you right now, this is the full moon energy and it's going to pass, but just absorb it and enjoy it and, and uh, experience it. So Libra, let's get into your um, Oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries for the next seven days. This is Libra energy. So remember, this is wherever Libra influences your chart. You can apply it, sun, moon, rising sign, absolutely. But also anywhere else that it, Libra energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies. Please remember, if it don't fit, don't squeeze it. You are not a Cinderella stepsister and that did not end up well for them anyway. So don't ever try to like force something like down your throat, you know that. This is going to be your oracle reading on this side, and then there's always an extended, um, there's always an extended video with a full tarot card spread where we do an in-depth reading and analysis of the oracle card reading, and we also include a romance reading, romance predictions for seven days out. Libra, let's see what your crowning energy is beginning tonight on the full moon. You got me, man. Let me say this: I, it's very romantic for me. It's a really feeling of. There's a lot of romance. All I can say is that I'm, I'm very loving. I'm very dreamy today. I'm allowing myself to be because the moon is bigger than me. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna try to force myself to be anything that the cosmos is not going along with, right? This is a big reading. I think this is a little too much, but let me see what the crowning energy for you is gonna be. Libra, this is a lot. We'll see whether or not it's too much. Let's see what the crowning energy for Libra is. Crowning your reading. Oh, there. <laughs> now, I told you. First of all, what you may not know about me is that I am a Libra rising. So Libra is in a particularly important position in my chart. Well, let me say, the crowning reading today, the crowning energy is this. This is my true love card. This is soulmate card. This is the energy of romance and togetherness and warmth and being at home and being in love and feeling love. So this is the crowning energy, Libra, an energy that says you are loved, you feel loved, you feel, take, you feel taken care of, you feel protected, or you feel like caring for or protecting somebody else. This is an energy of this would be prime peak time to either welcome somebody new into your life or show somebody that's been there how much you love them. But this is a coming together. I think this is new love. This is a very romantic period. I would not be surprised if you bump into somebody that you smile too much at, um, hold eye contact for a long period of time. Four plus two equals six. And six is the energy and the Six is the number of the lovers in the, of the major arcana in the traditional Rider Waite tarot deck. So you do have a ro very romantic feeling. Now remember, this is not necessarily romance coming into your life, but it's feeling almost like in love with life. This feeling of being romantic and being dreamy. And, and that's what was the, the channeling energy I got. It was that feeling of wanting to be like, <laughs> if I could say it's like, you know, like wanting to curl into somebody, uh, wanting to be close, feeling amorous, feeling ready, feeling ready to be open and vulnerable in the presence of somebody, like feeling ready to let somebody know that you love them, feeling ready to be unabashedly doe-eyed at somebody, um, to show somebody affection or to accept affection, which could be a little bit more difficult. A lot of times givers, which Libras usually are, 
um, it's harder for us to accept love coming back from somebody. But this is that very warm energy of no, I can, I can, I can, I can accept this. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to, I'm ready to accept love, and I'm actually welcoming it in. I'm, I'm opening myself up to that. So that's a beautiful, like I said, very romantic energy to come into for this week. Here you have watch your words. Watch your words. It could even be somebody's looking over you. Somebody's watching you. Somebody is above you, about to like land on you. But it's also, it could very well be, to me, this is like, watch what people say. Because it's how they speak to you that may give them away. Um, are they repeating a lot of things that you say? Or um, is, something needing, is something needing to be said? Because this is uh, 45. So 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 is a conclusion. So there is an energy of being able to understand what somebody feels about you. Even if it's a, 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 a recruiter, you know, or like being able to understand how somebody feels about you by the way that they talk to you and the words that they use towards you. So this would be very, um, very flattering talk or a talk that sort of like a parrot repeats what you say a lot just because they have you on their mind or you notice somebody following your speech patterns. This is interesting. It's almost like you... Yeah, it's almost like they're crowning you with their undivided attention, um, letting you know in terms of how they speak or how words are used this week is very important to show interest. Dream the world into being. Um, you could discover that there are these really affectionate and loving feelings. Maybe that... Interesting... Looking back at somebody talking about you, but looking away from them. Let me, let me think on this a little bit because you see the skull and he's looking right at the parrot. It's almost like that energy of recognizing something hasn't died because of words that are being exchanged. And for me, this card this time around feels like having eyes on the both sides of your head. Like, like that's not necessarily death or what's gone. It's almost like that subverted part of you, that part of you that's underneath, right? That, that underneath part of you that senses that somebody is interested, that somebody maybe has been wondering about you or watching you or taking particular interest in you. And it's almost like on the surface, you are playing like, you know, not even playing, it's not like you're a player, but it's almost like on the surface, you're playing like, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look toward my future. I'm not, I'm not even really thinking about romance, but this is the thing. It's like, you can feel it coming because of just interest that's swarming around you. It may not even be with a particular person, but there's this feeling of interest that's swarming around you that is, you can sense it with this, this other part of you. Let's get deeper into the reading. Clear out the clutter. It's time to let go of the past. Oh, it's time to let go of what somebody said about you because there were harsh words that were exchanged that could have killed your relationship. But it's time to let it go. It's time to let it drop. It's time for you to take off and be able to not be so controlled by your emotions. And the only way to do that, this is Cancerian energy, is to let the past go and let yourself mature. Now, the frog comes from a tadpole. and The tadpole is very much, very vulnerable to emotions, which is the water because the tadpole lives in the water. It depends on it. But a frog can live in or out of the water. It's not as dependent upon that that emotional energy and so it's not as controlled by it so this is the energy of don't be controlled of, of your emotions about something that somebody said to you in the past or this could flip this is a flipped energy of something that you said to somebody in the past is being let go of is being released there's an ending to something that happened in the past that had to do with maybe harsh words being exchanged or something said that you didn't owe. And now somebody's singing your praises. 
now it's almost like sweet words, sweet words of reconciliation, hearing songs and hearing music where once you only heard squawking, a sense of maybe understanding and sort of broadening your mind and comprehending what they meant by what they said when you let go of the emotional attachment or hurt that was connected to it. This is also somebody I think coming back around and making up for something that they once said about you um, um, maybe rescinding it or apologizing for it, making up for it some way. And I think it has to do with basically doing something to soothe you or to say something that is going to be music to your ears, watch and wait. So this could take up to seven days, Libra. It may not happen today, but this energy is changing and there's another watchful card. So it is this energy of somebody had kept their eyes on you or a, an opportunity had kept its eyes on you for a while and it had watched or it's somebody that you've been thinking about for a while something that has lain dormant for a while but it's never been completely dead there's always been this energy that has kept it alive that has seen it and carried it into the future and now there's this energy of needing to completely release it and let it go but it's it's been a while, so watch this week. I think that you're going to get a surprise, Libra, of, of an energy that comes through that is kind of making things up to you or forgiving, spotlighting, putting the spotlight, putting the spotlight on basically the direction that you want to go, not the direction that you were in. This is about complete and total restart. This is the energy of 10, 6 plus 4 is complete completion you're finished you're done a cycle is over and now you're looking toward the future but once again it's about using your voice it's interesting how you have three using your voice um energies on the table you have parrot spirit which is copying somebody else's words and i think at this point that's done that's over for you copying somebody else's words or saying what they want to hear is over with you've let that go and you've learned how to be sincere and, and speak what's on your mind and be honest about what you feel. Even if you're doing it in a nice way, in a way that is receptive to people, you're still being true to your own song and watch and wait where that leads you and just how far that gets you because Libra is gonna get you far. This is scorpionic energy. An opportunity that you thought was dead or that was hidden that you didn't see is coming right for you this week. Here we have, um, no, I just saw it. Truth transcends illusion. This is a beautiful energy to follow peacock spirit because it's like the truth is coming out. And I think it's your truth, the truth about you, um, the truth about somebody's appreciation toward you. But it's almost like you drove this energy because you're learning how to stick up for yourself, how to how to be who you are and be real and be true to that. And remember, dragonfly is a lot like frog in that dragonfly energy also as a larvae starts in the water and then learns how to adjust itself and be bigger than its emotions. So this is about getting comfortable with your emotions, getting in control of your emotions and this feeling this month, this, this week of just really loving who you are accepting who you are and finding that people really love who you are too when you are yourself out loud. Say what you need to say. Turn knowledge into wisdom, and this is the full moon energy. This is howl at the moon, bay at the moon, connect to the moon, and praise it. This is the truth in the dark or the way in the dark, and that's what wolf and howling at the moon gives us, this energy of the truth coming out. And I think it's your truth. I think because the center energy here is sing your own song, your, your, it's, this is your own truth coming out this week, who you are, and honestly... Somebody's, somebody, the attention being paid to you for being who you are, you see clearly now, clear in the dark, two animals that see very clearly in the dark, and this is a hunter, so remember, it spots its prey, and it narrow, and it zooms in, and this is also wisdom, this is Aquarian energy, and it's interesting, because I feel like there was some sort of energy, hold on, I want to see something really, really quickly, this may take a little while for you guys, but I want to get my full moon calendar out here. Mm. October. No, no, no. This is, yeah, I'm doing this. I am. <laughs> I've got to get this answer because it's interesting. Full moon. I want to see the chart.
Ja, ja. So we have the full moon in Cancer. Uh, then the full moon lunar eclipse was at 711. And then we have the full moon in Cancer. And then it goes into this is what I don't understand. Ah, ah, okay. We have the full moon in Cancer at 721. We have a new moon in Aquarius on January 24th. Just saying. Okay. Interesting. Okay. That's why this energy really interested me because it's almost like the full moon is looking toward the new moon. And I think that this is sort of a timestamp for you. So between not just the next seven days, but the next two weeks, there is going to be sort of this light in the dark or this wisdom or this truth coming out. Because remember, Aquarian energy is truth coming out. And I think the truth is that it's almost your truth. It's almost like you being the truth and all eyes being on you. So there's this energy of it coming around. There's this opportunity that is hidden, that is still in the dark, but it's coming around. And your life is going to take off very, very quickly. You'll feel an acceleration, but as well as an acceler acceleration, a coming together of things. This is Gemini energy. So communications are going to start coming into you very, very quickly putting everything together for you, making sense of what didn't make sense for you, claim your independence, you being who you are out loud, you being accepted for who you are, a sense of yourself, a, a, such a firm sense of yourself, maybe one that's larger and bigger than you've ever had before because it's not a sense of self that's in conjunction with somebody else. And I feel like that's why you're ready. That's why you're ready for these messages, to receive these messages. Be here now. This is your energy. So exist in this moment. That's the way. Don't think about the next two weeks. Don't think about what's coming toward you. You need to work and think and ha have all your focus. Libra, it has to be right here, right now, and how sweet your life is right now. Focus on how sweet your life is right now. And I'm telling you why. Because when you focus on the here and now, what you do is you light up your beacon light, that little GPS drop tag. It's saying, this is where I am. So this is where you send my abundance and your abundance knows where to go. So if you stay focused in your space, so in your body, where are you right now at this point in your life? If you stay focused on that, you are going to focus your energy, you're gonna focus your abundance and it's going to come toward you and sweet results await that you would never have expected, but they're coming into your life. This is your grounding energy. Give with gratitude and grace. You are going to get a change, a direct change, a huge change that gives you such broad abundance. And it's crazy abundance that's coming towards you in a huge shift. This is creation. Eight is destiny and creation. There's something destined that has to do with something that you've been working very hard on because you don't get to taste this honey, Libra, unless you've worked hard because bees have to work hard to get their honey. And that's what they do. This is you dripping in your honey. And I think something that you, maybe something that you, you, you never even expected, or it's almost like it's too good to be true energy but it's destined. This is destined for something that you've been working on to create, to work out. And this is another seven energy because six plus one is seven. This two sevens, seven, oh, three, shut up, stop, stop, hold up. Seven, six plus one is seven, one plus six is seven, 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 seven. You just got your lucky jackpot, Libra. If you have Libra placements anywhere, cha-ching, cha-ching. You're talking about the jackpot and what's beautiful about it is it's still kind of hidden and it's almost like looming. This is destiny and you're not going to expect it coming to you. Trust in divine detours. Go with the flow, Libra. Be here right now because this is almost going to hit you out of the blue. Hold on. I'm going to turn the camera around to review the cards. Big reading, right? But I don't question it because I think sometimes we need a really big reading. And here it is. This is all to do about love. And I think that this is an opportunity that's bringing you closer to love. Having to get through some wicked words or bad words or 
rejection energy that somebody, you had to let it go. You had to let it go and you had to find yourself again, a, a, a rightness with yourself, a connection, um, a community within yourself. Be yourself, keep singing your own song and watch Watch the magic that comes from it. Because I think that if you illuminate your truth, especially over the next seven days, that if you build it, they will come. If you sing it, Libra, they will come. This is an opportunity to opportunity that is has been waiting for you, that is going to spot you. It's coming out of the dark. It is almost, especially with this life as a mystery card, a, a sense of you're not going to see this coming. It's almost like you're side swiped by destiny and abundance. <laughs> and I'm really interested to know what the heck is coming in. So we're going to go over to Tarot and I'm also going to do your love reading. That link is below Libra. I'll see you guys over there.